Today I am off to go and get <coughs> breakfast with me. Date with the missus and then I'm gonna leave her. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and get a tattoo on my knee. I have a cold in case you can't tell. Get a tattoo on your knee today. Yeah, I don't think I shave my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so ill. Um, so we're gonna go get some breakfast and then I'm gonna ditch the bitch and then I'm gonna go and get tattooed. <coughs> Please don't give me a cold. I know, I've given it to everybody. Let's snog and I'll give it to you. <laughs> Breakfast time. Tattoo time. It's so freaking cold. My nipples are like frozen little sharp icicles right now. Now I'm on my way to get my knee tattooed. I'm shitting myself. Never had a knee tattoo before. I'm really freaking scared. But before we carry on, huge shout out to my newest patron, Steph. Hi Steph. Check out her deviant art, it's friendly fire 999 Put the link in the description below. I'm really scared, I've got a bottle of water. Uh, I'm trying to not drink fizzy, so I don't think this is gonna help at all. But wish me luck. Tattoo, tattoo. done drink in hand shopping oh you can't see me hold on that's not better at all um so i'm now off to my friend's house to go and have a little bitchy gossip so while i was in town i got given this leaflet apparently i look like i need to be saved i did walk past the man grab it and i think he was trying to talk to me but i have my headphones in so i just shouted out i need a poo i gotta go <laughs> And then he stopped talking to me. <laughs> so I'm walking okay, considering like I've just had my knee tattooed. It's not too bad. It's quite pinchy, but yeah. All right, I'm nearly at my friend's house. So I'll talk to you when I get home. Hey guys, really quick update before I head off to work. All right, so it's been about four days. This is what it looks like now. If I can get my leggings up. Oh God, oh, that really hurts. I haven't been able to shave my leg because it's right there so my leg is all bristly so ignore that that's what it's looking like i can't bend my leg any more than that it's a bit smaller than i originally thought it was but i'm so glad i didn't get it bigger simply because it was agony I do really need to clean it up um i'm gonna give it a few more days and then just give it a really really good wash it's scabbing now some of the lines are wonky that's like my leg would not sit still I, I had my leg in so many different positions to try and keep my leg still um, and the only way that we could do it is for me to hang my leg over the edge of the chair and her to like lean on my leg and push my leg against the chair because my leg just kept it just kept going that and me just going I really hurt so I got my knee tattooed um, by the lovely Chanel at Freedom Tattoos do check her out I will put her Instagram and everything down below um, so this is my first tattoo by her and I walked in and I warned her I was like girl I whinge I moan I fidget I twitch I do not sit still are you ready for this <laughs> so I got a rose on my knee um, it was a rose design that she had already pre-drawn and she wanted to tattoo. I originally planned to get a rose on this knee and a, I, want, I wanted a violet on the other knee. I don't know if that's going to happen now. This was honestly one of the most painful tattoos I have ever, ever had. People always say like, but you've got so many tattoos, like, uh, surely you'd be used to the pain by now? No. No. <laughs> it really freaking hurt. Bone, isn't it? And it felt like it was scratching my bone. It was so painful. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, quite a lot of the lines are very wonky. And that is 100 million percent my fault. I could not keep still. So I do need to go back and get some of the lines gone over, which I will do um, 
I'm not sure when, but I, I will do it. I originally planned to get it coloured in as well, but when she started tattooing it, I was like, there is no way I'm going to sit to get this coloured in. So I'm hoping once it heals, I'm going to go back and get some of the lines gone over, just neatened up a little bit, and um, I might puss out and try some numbing cream because that really freaking hurt. It's really bringing my leg tattoos together because I have a lot of leg tattoos, but with the knee gap in the middle, I just kind of... It looked like my lower leg and my upper leg and now it looks like it flows and I love it. Which is kind of why I need to get the other one done but I just don't want to. <laughs> that is it guys, that's my quick um, knee tattoo vlog. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have a spare second please check out my Patreon, the link is below. But I will see you guys very very soon, I am now off to work. Oh, and motionless and white in Norwich in a few days. If you're going, hit me up, let's go get a drink. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Um, I think my next video is um, <coughs> hopefully the Motionless and White gig if I am feeling better by then. Um, because if not, I don't know if I'm going to vlog it, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Stay weird. <laughs>